got a narco over here. Point him out. Close to the dump. School. That's the Chemical Institute. Via B Gas, the local oil and gas company, used to train the locals and give them jobs once they graduated. And then, of course, a cartel showed up and that all changed. Let's see if we can find the boss in there. HPT spotted. Looks like the local Buchan. Let's grab him and make him talk. That's a kill. Makes five. Sniper. Up there, on the roof. He's history. See a team of Sicarios here, near the building. I got a Sicario with a minigun, by the building. Huh? Uh, don't hurt me! Narco close to that nasty looking dump. Oh God, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I don't know anything, I swear. I'm just an assistant. An assistant to who? Marcus Jensen. He, he's the boss, you know, he runs everything. Where can I find him? He's supposed to be at the witch's market later, but I don't know when. Get on the phone. Arrange a meeting with him at the market. Tell him it's important. Then you let me go? That depends on how convincing you are. Hey, it's me. Look, there's something I need to show you. I can't tell you on the phone. Yes, it's important. Okay. He told me to meet him at the witch's market. In case you feel the need to call him back. Bowman, this is Nomad. 
The cartel patron in Libertad is a U.S. national named Marcus Jensen. Got it. Let me run the name and I'll see what comes up. Better make it quick. We're going after him now. Nomad, I just uploaded a video for you. Should give you some background info on the local boss. Marcus Jensen majored in chemistry because that's where the steady careers were. Job security, health benefits, two weeks vacation, 401k. And best of all, people were hiring. Marcus got recruited right out of grad school by La Gringa. Shelter guy that he was, thought he was getting a job with the SB Corporation, a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Bolivia, which, of course, it is. He just didn't realize what the product was. But when he finally figured it out, he decided it didn't really matter. He's making more in one month than his friends make in five years. And best of all, <laughs> chicks. So many chicks. Almost as important, for the first time in his life, he's getting respect. Lagringa Station Marcus at the Chemical Institute in Libertad Province. Over the past three years, he's been teaching cartel members how to produce high-quality cocaine. True, most of these idiots never made it past the second grade, but it appears they finally found a subject they're passionate about. As for Marcus, his rationalization is... Look, someone's gonna make the cocaine, someone's gonna make the money. It might as well be me, right? You are right, Marcus, just not for much longer. entering the witch market. In Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or love potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. I'm a scientist! Hands! Show me your hands! Do it now! Goddamn fascists! You've got no right! I'm an American citizen! Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? <laughs> shit, Jensen's getting away. Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. <laughs> Open fire! I'm shooting these fuckers. Get away from me! Tango, leave me alone! We're clear. Helicopter incoming. You got no fucking right, you hear me? You don't have any legal jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know! That's all I'm asking.
Buen día, compatriotas. Sniper, get the fuck down. Engaging hostiles. The great writer Balzac once said, to have a family is to become hostage to fortune. I told El Yayo we had something in common. We're both too old to start over. Me to start a new organization. You to start a new family. Katrine Svensson. La Gringa. How does a PhD from MIT end up as the chief chemist of the Santa Blanca cartel? Like all cynics, she started out as an idealist. La Gringa came to Bolivia to help the people. The poor, the downtrodden, the sick. She loved them, and they loved her. Working for an NGO called Hands Over Bolivia, she did research to develop a new vaccine for yellow fever. It was meant to be produced easier and cheaper, making it more readily available to more people in a shorter time. Then, disaster struck. She lost all her funding and was vilified by the scientific community. Of course, La Gringa hadn't been involved in the scandal, but it didn't matter. She lost everything. After that, well, you know what? Thanks to the NSA's prison program, we can hear it in her own words. How much did you earn, Sonrisa? 40,000 a year. I spend more on my dogs. I will pay you a hundred times what you were making. To do what? Quality control. Working from Okoro, you can develop the best, most potent, most pure cocaine in the world. I came here to help people survive. La Gringa, my darling. How do you think the people survive? Fire, fire, fire. I copy. Looks like some of Katari's rebels are defending La Gringa's house. What the fuck's going on here? Yo, just up ahead. Let's hustle and get to La Gringa before the cartel does. Right behind you, boss. I think that's all of them. We got rebels throwing down the cartel. It's on the That was messy as shit. Are you? What do you want? We're your way out of this mess, understand? But we've got to move right fucking now. I won't get far. 
Not like this. I know someone. He lives in a village not far from here. The rebels, they take their wounded to him when they can. How old do you know that rebel doctor? He won't talk to the cartel, if that's what you're afraid of. They don't scare him. He's the bravest guy I know. We met when I was working with the NGO. The fake NGO. He was the local guy. And a few years and a few tons of coke later, he introduces you to the rebels. He needed medicine and vaccines. I had the work. I don't get you. What do you get out of playing both sides? Hell if I know. I came to Bolivia to help people. That's all I was trying to do. I'm in. Let's go. Gotta hold on, Grinka. We still got a ways to go. I don't know about that. Is she gonna make it? She better. What were rebels doing protecting your house? That guitar must have sent them to protect me. I feel cold. I'm starting to feel cold. Why would Pat Katari protect the cartel scientist like you? Uh, I, I've been using Swainier's money to buy medical supplies. Pack didn't mention that shit to us. How would I know? Cold. I can't. Please. I've got to stop. Don't quit on me now, lady. Sight's just up ahead. Unidad bird approaching. Stay down. Who are you? What do you want? You know this woman? What happened? Believe me, Doc, it's better if you don't know. She's got a GSW to the shoulder. Can you help her? Si, por supuesto. Leave her with me. I'll do everything I can. We'll buy you all the time we can, but you need to work fast. I've got a feeling Sueño's not done with her yet. Contact. Swenyo sent another crew after us. Take him down. Yo, there's a mine over here. Opening fire. Y'all in one piece? What's the word, boss? We've given the doc all the time we can. One way or another, we're getting La Gringa out of here. Okay, Gringa. Time to go. Please, just... 
Give me a minute. You stop the bleeding, but I got a ball of lead in my shoulder. The cocktail the doctors gave you? I bet you can't even feel your face, let alone that bullet. You got me there. We're leaving. You feel like you're gonna keel over a puke? Just look at the horizon. It'll keep you steady. I got it. I'll fly. We're at the extraction point. Let's get her to Bowman and call for a dust off. Oh! Oh, God! What are you doing to me? It's called tactical field care. Stop being such a pussy. Oh! God! Here. Open it. Open it. Her extract is ten minutes out. Oh, fucking hell. I'll be glad to be rid of this whiny bitch. Your little clinic might have bought you some redemption with the Rebels, but that crap doesn't play for me. But with a set of lungs like yours, you're gonna be a big hit in prison. Why don't you just let me die? The thought had crossed my mind. But five years from now, ten, hell, maybe even fifty years from now, when I'm so old I can't even wipe my own ass, it's gonna make me happy to think of little Mousy Lagringa and all those nasty friends she made in prison. I don't care. I'm happy to go to your prison. A lifetime, ten lifetimes in prison is better than Sueño. Your worst could never compare to his. Bowman, you shifted off to K-Manus. What have you got for us? For the past couple of years, the cartel has been experimenting with high-tech submarines as a way to smuggle powder into the U.S. Best we can tell, these subs follow one of the tributaries up to the Amazon, then into the Atlantic for a transit to the Florida coast. Jesus, it's a couple thousand miles. Exactly. The man running the program is called El Cerebro. We've got almost nothing on this guy. Rumor has it he's some kind of genius, a real mad scientist type. We know he's been ordering all kinds of military-grade electronics to upgrade his subs capabilities. We need a better picture of what's going on in Caimanes. Get me all the intel you can on their submarine ops, as well as El Cerebro and his research. If you get actionable intel on the cartel submarine fleet, take them out. Let's put some hurt on El Cerebro and see how he reacts. Maybe he'll make a mistake and we can grab him. Sounds good. We're on it. Most cartel members are violent idiots who are too high to care, but Patricio Mendez Valle, a.k.a. El Cerebro, is an oddball genius who's too fucking smart to bother. Nidia Flores spotted his intellect when he was just a kid. She sent him to college in Mexico and later grad school in California. Word is he was too strange and misanthropic for even that crowd, but he popped up on our radar. El Cerebro heads up the cartel's submersible program out of Caimenez. From Caimenez, his semi-submersibles, sometimes carrying as much as 10 tons of cocaine, head downriver to Brazil, then to the Atlantic. From there, floating just a few feet below the surface, they can go all the way to Mexico, even as far as Florida. But smuggling with these semi-submersibles will soon be a thing of the past. He and Nydia have ambitions to make reusable, fully submersible craft. Think what a multi-billion dollar criminal enterprise could do with a fleet of submarines. Smuggling would be just the start. If we're gonna take down these subs, we need El Cerebro and his jagged ass brain intact and cooperative. Just remember, he's Nydia's pet project. She won't give him up easy. It's Bowman. Looks like 
the damage you've done to the cartel's production network just paid another dividend. What's up? Forcing the Gringa and El Yayo to start cutting the purity of their cocaine has caused prices to drop and done a lot of damage to the cartel's rep. Sucks to be them. What to do for us? We got La Gringa, but Sueño still needs a dog to kick. Yayo's managing production while the cartel keeps him prisoner in his own house. Extract El Yayo to an RP. Expect strong opposition. Word is the guards have orders to kill El Yayo if he tries to escape. Roger that. El Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never, in all that time, did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine, a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live. Bad guys in the area. Hey, we got a narco next to the hacienda. The drone is up. Marking a tango. He's close to that Eyes local. The target. The baby makes three. We got a Sicario. The Hacienda inside. He's dead. This is the place. Let's take this low and slow. The cartel realizes we're here. The first thing they'll do is kill El Yayo. Copy that. Target down. Here's target number five. Target's marked. Just say the word. Got the target. Target acquired. Standing by. Enemy down. Hang back. They see it. In position. Target's marked. Just say the word. Copy. Target marked. 
Anda un compa por acá. Dicen que el patrón está enfermo. Aquí hay algo raro. Pues Ahora no, pues. Vamos. Roger, target acquired. Lost my target. I don't have a shot. Eyes on the target. That's a kill. Hear me out, por favor. Hold on. That's it, we're clear. Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If El Sueño's men see that I'm God, the cartel will kill my family. Cooperate, we can protect you. I will cooperate. If you protect my family. RP's just ahead. Nobody get comfortable. I get the feeling we'll be heading right back out again. Roger that. You have to destroy the gold mines? Sure, it's less money for the cartel, but come on! It's fucking gold! I should have known. CIA has brought in our own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family. Then I decide if I will talk. Yayo's family's in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We've got to move fast. So when you find he's gone, that family's dead. What's going on out there? My guest is getting antsy. You find Yayo's family? We're working on it. Understood. Just hurry, okay? It's gonna be damned ironic if the dude has a coronary waiting for his wife and son. Roger that. I've got the target. Dad bird approaching. Stay down. Hey, 
Heads up. I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Pero Dios mío, won't you sicarios leave us alone? Take it easy. We're the good guys. Clear. How you guys holding up? Jamás sabré cómo pagarle su ayuda. Gracias de todo corazón. Don't touch me! Calm down, Chewie. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. Sure are a lot of lights and switches up here. All right, let's roll. This is the old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Cállate, mijo. Ruri does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we even know he's with you? How do we know he's safe? That you aren't using us to get to him, just like esos charros, esos mexicanos. I never said we weren't using you, but you are safe with us, and El Yayo is safe. I have seen la DEA and CIA do too much evil to my people. Do not expect me to trust you, Guru Gringos, Kumara Mama Coca. Viva Mama Coca! De tu los blanquiñosos! Well, I should have known better than to expect a thank you. This is it. You're safe now. Hold on. Rodolfo. Mi Rosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa, what trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? I just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes blanquiñosos yankees only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend either. Tranquilo, mijo. I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, los cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Help me get what you want? Nobody's happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. You're so fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. been in Bolivia all this time. This is the first of anyone who isn't cartel has seen El Sueño. 
Who is this man of yours? You're right to be suspicious. The information isn't clear, but with all our recent success, we must have forced El Sueño to show his face. There are no buchones left to run things. This could be our chance, Nomad. We can force the cartel out of Bolivia. Send us the location where you want to meet. We'll be there. Thank mm -hmm. you.